Hi, uh, on this video I would like to show you how to convert uh, an OpenVZ uh, container uh, to LXC from Proxmox 3.x to Proxmox 5.x. So I have an old Proxmox uh, 3.x from about three or four years ago and the OpenVZ container is old and um, unfortunately um, OpenVZ does not have the newer uh, operating system templates like the Ubuntu 16.04 LTS uh, so therefore I'm forced to upgrade to the newer Proxmox um, and to use LXC. Um, so for the purpose of this uh, example I am going to uh, remove this container first here. I'm at the, uh, the destination Proxmox 5.1 and so first I am going to go ahead and shut this down and then I'm going to remove it so I'm gonna go here remove 105 alright so once I get it removed um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the process of restoring again so the first thing that I did here or part of the process I guess is that you have to copy um, well you first you have to back up the OpenVZ container that you have from Proxmox the old Proxmox the uh, Proxmox version 3.1 not this one um, I'm not going to show you that part because you can get plenty of video or documentation of how to backup or create a backup file uh, basically a tar file or tar.lzo when it's compressed it has the .lzo behind it and once you have that file uh, backup file you would want to copy it to the uh, let me show you what the uh, the directory that you need to copy it to um, hang on just a second The directory that you want to copy it to is this particular directory for me uh, because well you can copy it to any um, of your storage that Proxmox would support so by default uh, your Proxmox directory is probably gonna be var lib pve I believe and then uh, no let me check uh, VZ and dump. Yep, so this is going to be the default um, Proxmox storage directory. You would want to put your OpenVZ backup file here, and then once you put it there, you can go to local just like this, and then you go to content. Instead of summary, you go to content here and it should list it here. I just I have another uh, storage called local MD0 which is a, a software RAID um, container uh, or not container I'm sorry a software RAID disk array that I have created and I put my uh, backup or templates there so that's why my uh, container not container why well, keep on saying container my directory path uh, looks like this because I mount that particular uh, software array, array in MD0 and then um, I go to the dump directory and this is where I see um, all my backup containers and uh, the one that I'm interested in is this particular one right here so let's go back to uh, the Proxmox interface and to basically get the conversion going uh, we would just select it click list restore and pick the storage that we want to restore to um, select an available container ID we'll go ahead and select the same one 105 click on restore and it will be uh, restoring soon now don't worry about this output being no content for about five seconds or so 
it's normal and afterwards you will see that it started to work and pretty soon you will see that it's starting to convert and then shortly it will be done this is not a big container i would say it's about um well you can see it here 790 megabyte so it's not small but it's not that big either and uh, it's pretty fast as you can see it's done already so we can go ahead and close this and then we go to the container itself and there are many things that we have to adjust before we can start this properly so let's just go through all the different um, sections here skip the console for now um, so we are going to go to the resources just double check all the resources mine looks good uh, we're gonna go to the network you will need to have to add a new network so it's actually a good idea to take note of the previous network setting and so that you can copy it and transfer it to the new server so I am going to put this on my own network settings which obviously yours is going to be different and just to make sure I didn't put any space there yep okay make sure everything is correct and go to the DNS I'm gonna go ahead and retype that in because during the conversion all of this are lost okay 10.0.0.1 is my firewall or gateway and that should be it for that go to option I do want this to start uh, when the Proxmox host is restarted and that's it so that's all the uh, option that I need to set now keep in mind that if you have any mount point that you previously have or shared mounts against the host of Proxmox that you have previously those things will not get converted so you would have to set those manually again and Previously, I don't think in Proxmox 3.x there is a way for you to add mount point in their interface, but here in 5.x there is. You can actually add my mount point and uh, and select a particular local shared local or shared um, storage that Proxmox supports, and you can share it that way, or you can mount it, I guess, and you can. Put a size and enable quarter and everything which is very nice oh this is where uh, you would want to mount it inside the LXE container all right well we're not gonna do those um, but what we're gonna do right now is start it or try to start it okay so it looks like it's just is very fast looks like the status started is okay now from my experience um, the first time you convert LXC to I mean OpenVZ to LXC um, the process takes a long time for the first start for it to become normal meaning I cannot I just started this about what 30 seconds ago I cannot go to console well I'll be surprised if, if console actually shows anything as you can see it's, it's just it seems like it's not working but trust me wait a couple of minutes um, and it will start to work um, you may be tempted to actually open your uh, terminal and actually try to go to um, you know you can uh, list all the LXC containers and you may be tempted to go to this container 105 here because you see it well it's running um, so you can obviously go to et enter it PCT enter 105 and like I said it, it takes a couple of minutes for it to start so don't be alarmed when you do PSAX and you and you look at it and goes well where are all my services this is supposed to be a WordPress server by the way so it should have um, a web server I was using nginx and it has PHP uh, and it has MySQL. Well, none of those services are here. 
So, you know, at first I panicked. I did not wait. I thought the whole thing, the whole process is borked, but actually it's not. If you would just wait about a couple of minutes, I would say maximum five minutes, you will see that the, it finally will load um, eventually, like just like that, as you can see. Uh, my PHP FPM is here, Nginx is here, and then now the, uh, the actual uh, virtual machine is ready to go. So if I would actually just push this aside, now if I click on console again this time, it would probably give me a prompt to log in. Well, maybe not. Again, don't panic. Wait a little bit longer. It will work properly. So, and it will be faster once the uh, the first, I guess, first load is done. So, I just want to um, make sure that uh, you are aware uh, that there is a documentation here on Proxmox website of how to convert OpenBZ to LXC. And uh, you may want to look into um, the steps that, that I just described to you. Again, this is mainly to convert OpenBZ from 3.x uh, Proxmox. In this documentation, it says 4.x, but from 4.x and above Proxmox versions, all of them are LXC. OpenBZ has been deprecated and will no longer be supported. So there are also sections here where it will show you how to add graphical console and also again how to reconnect your mounting points or your binds as we call it in OpenBZ. Um, that's about it. I just want to uh, create that short video. Hopefully it helps somebody uh, that has the same problem to convert OpenBZ to LXE. Thank you.